Hey, what's up guys? Min City here back again with another video and today we are doing something a little bit different. I am answering your guys' questions once again and this question came through the DMs as well. I need to start asking you guys permission to put them on screen beforehand so that I can actually read them along with you guys. But for this time, I'll be reading it off. And so it says, what hobbies do you do outside of creating YouTube videos and playing video games? So that's a fair question because you guys just know me for mobile games and occasionally video games that I stream and stuff like that. Um, I have mentioned a couple in a couple videos. I really love playing basketball, but because of recent health issues that caused me to be slightly dizzy whenever I move around sporadically, especially when like running and changing directions, um, I haven't been able to do that as much, but basketball was a huge part of my life. And it's been, honestly, it sounds kind of weird and cheesy, but it's been really rough not being able to play basketball. It's really affected my mental health and everything. But luckily, um, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, I started going to the gym um, casually, um, like I'd say three or four times a week for about 30 to 45 minutes a day. And luckily I was able to reestablish that a couple months ago um, because I, I had like a, during my huge health issue thing that happened, you guys saw that little update video a couple months ago. When that first happened, I didn't do anything physical for about two months, two or three months. But after that, I made it a point to, because my, my health was in decline, uh, my physicality was different. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go to the gym because I can't really do anything else. And I found a really big love for going to the gym. I don't, I'm not hardcore. I go for 45 minutes to an hour but I don't just dilly-dally around and sit on my phone. I, I crank out my workout and get it done because um, I don't believe just in chilling and, and hanging out when I'm supposed to be working out. So I go in 45 minutes to an hour and I push myself and I've really started to like weightlifting and stuff like that. And I enjoy seeing the slow, the slow and steady progress. I promise I'm not a meathead, um, but I do think the gym can be beneficial for your mental health and it's helped me in the absence of not being able to play basketball. So that's one thing that I enjoy doing and I try to go every weekday and I take the weekends off. So I'm not crazy and it, I'm not insane when I miss a day. Like if it, something comes up and I'm not able to go during a weekday, it doesn't affect me the rest of the time. I just look forward to the next time that I go. So I go to the gym. Now I also write a lot of poetry. Um, I love poetry, I love reading poetry, I like buying poetry, I have a huge poetry collection. If you guys are interested in seeing that in the future, let me know and I can make a video about my favorite works of poetry. Um, but I love writing it, I love um, reading it, and eventually one of my life bucket list goals is to publish a book of poetry. I've already sorted out around a hundred or so poems uh, for that book of poetry, but now I need to figure out how to um, produce the layout of it and the order of which the poetry will go in um, because I've read some poetry books that are published at like Barnes Noble and stuff and the ones that I buy and I'm like I could do this I truly believe that I could publish uh, a work of poetry uh, a collection of poetry which sounds kind of conceited but I, I really do believe that and that's what you have to do with your dreams is you have to believe in them so I really love poetry. I have gotten back into reading. I've always read poetry because it's nice bite-sized. You can just read a couple poems and put it away and go back to it. I've started getting back into reading again. I've never tried uh, a Stephen King novel before uh, because I'm not that much of a horror guy, but I've gotten into horror f films the past year or two and it's time to start reading uh, his works because he's so renowned for it. So I've started reading The Outsider. That's the first one that I have gotten from him. And so I've started reading a little bit more and it's been refreshing to just take a break from screens and stuff like that. It sounds silly, but it really is a legitimate thing. Um, so I enjoy the thrifting of books, buying of books. Barnes & Noble is one of my favorite uh, places to go, period. And that sounds really funny, but it's true. I love Barnes & Noble and going in there and getting a book and stuff like that. So I love that. Um, and then I just love hanging out with uh, my wife now. Uh, my whiff is what I call her. Um, uh, I love hanging out with her. We'll play Switch and stuff like that or just talk or take our dogs to the dog park or on a walk. Um, so the dogs are yet another thing that I enjoy outside of this little world that you guys have seen me in and participated in uh, with me. So yeah, I'm interested to know what you guys do outside of mobile games because that's how we've kind of established 
our common interests and uh, gotten to know each other. But what do you guys enjoy doing as hobbies outside of like the gaming space? Uh, I'm really interested to know. Those are what I, I, I love doing. Um, I do have a poetry page. It's called Minty Poetry on Instagram. I won't link it in the description or anything. You guys can go check it out. It's just called Minty Poetry. And it has some of the poetry that I write on there. I haven't been as active on it, but if you're interested in that, you can go check that out. But aside from that, everything else that I mentioned, that's what I enjoy. And I'm interested in knowing what you guys enjoy. I hope this made sense. I hope it wasn't too much of a ramble. I love you guys. Thank you for the continued support on all of the videos. We are gonna be hitting a thousand subscribers in no time at this rate. And I appreciate every single one of you. And I appreciate that you guys like these videos too and getting to know me because that's what really makes me maintain motivated is uh, getting to know you guys and the interaction with you guys. It wouldn't be at all as fun if you guys didn't comment under my videos and stuff. So again, thank you so much. I hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy.